Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be doing a speed test comparison of one of the brand new supercars that was just released in Grand Theft Auto Online, the Grotti X80 Proto. So that's right, Rockstar kind of surprised us today and released the X80 Proto, as well as a few other things which I'll be talking about in uh, videos later on today. I'm also gonna be doing a really fun live stream as well, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a really good time. However, today the X80 Proto was released, and while I've done some kind of unofficial speed tests in the past, Today would be the day where we confirm whether or not this mighty supercar that comes in at a very exorbitant $2.7 million would indeed be the new fastest supercar in the game. And in this video, I'm gonna be testing this out using my drag strip map, which has been really successful in the past. I like using this to test the speed and accelerations of previous cars. So without the way, let's not waste any more time and let's jump straight into it. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this test that all the cars have been fully upgraded to their maximum abilities. So whether it's braking or engines or transmission or turbo, adding a spoiler when applicable, all of the cars have the max upgrades possible as to make the test as fair as could be. So let's start with the X80. Obviously, this is the one that people want to know and want to talk about. I'm also gonna be comparing it against the T20, Osiris, Zentorno, and 900R. Kind of like the top tier class of supercars in terms of how you can compete. And also at the end, I'm gonna be talking about some of the results and what I think about the supercar class category just a little bit. All right, so as you're seeing on the screen right now, the times I got for the X80 were incredibly fast. This vehicle does live up to the hype it has and also the price tag that's been put on it. So the four times I got were very, very similar. The fastest one I got was 21.324 and then followed up by three consecutive ones, 21.356, 21.357 and 21.358 seconds. So all of the times I ran for the X80 were literally within either 0.001 seconds of each other or just slightly uh, faster than that. And my fastest time again coming in at 21.324. So that is absolutely insane. Not only does it make it the fastest supercar in terms of this top speed and acceleration test that I'm doing right here, but wow, that is just incredible. And as you'll see in a bit, it really does smoke the other supercars, which is pretty crazy. So again, that's crazy because it is significantly quicker than the other supercars in the game, as you'll see. And But that does make sense because it is $500,000, $600,000 more expensive than the previous fastest supercar, the T20. So now that you've seen those times for the X80, let's move on to the T20. You've seen me race the T20 in the past, so this shouldn't be really any new information right here. The T20 came in with the second fastest time of 22.057 seconds, and then another slower time that I ran, which was just a little bit slower, 22.124 seconds. So again, it's about 0.6 seconds slower than the X80 on average. And you wouldn't think that's a lot, but I've said it before when you're traveling at, you know, 120 miles an hour plus, 150, sometimes reaching top speeds like that, 0.6 seconds is a huge difference and can obviously be the difference between finishing first or second or third or fourth or being able to jump around a guy rounding a, a, a corner or whatnot. So you may not think that's a significant difference, but in reality, it actually is. So the T20, again, coming in in that second place spot. We've also got the Banshee 900R that also ran a pretty impressive time. Believe it or not, some of the cars that I ran in here, I got identical times, which is crazy. So I ran the Banshee 900R once and was able to achieve a time of 22.124, which again is extremely close to the time that I ran with the T20. So those those two supercars are really, really on point with each other. It's hard to go wrong with either one right there. Your only differences are probably going to be price, obviously looks, and obviously the handling of the car itself. So that was the 900R, followed up by the Osiris, which also ran a 22.124 time, which was pretty crazy. I don't know how I managed to get all these cars to get very, very similar times but they did, and the Osiris ran a 22.124, and then the Zentorno, I wanted to race this one just for chagrins, and this ended up with a time of 22.191, obviously just slightly slower than the rest of the cars in the bunch. 
However, this is pretty interesting. This is a pretty crazy test that we were able to run today. So even though the X80 is clearly superior in acceleration and speed, as can be seen by this drag test race right here, one thing I did notice just driving it in free mode is that it doesn't have the one, the best braking, traction, or handling. Now, I haven't done specific tests to like test the braking, like how fast it could stop or how well it rounds corners, but just out of feel, I mean, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto Online for three years now, to some of the other supercars in the game, T20 I've been using forever, Osiris been using for a good bit, um, obviously Adder, Entity, been using those cars for a while, it doesn't seem like it's up to par with some of those supercars, which means that in races, it is going to feel differently and it is going to take some getting used to to some of the other vehicles. So although during this test it was clearly faster, I have had some trouble with braking and traction and handling. And I think some other people have even mentioned this as well, that it, although it is super fast, it doesn't have the best handling. So that might be something to consider in races. Again, I say this all the time that choosing cars are subjective. Yes, there are hard facts in the game that say, you know, one car will you know, quote unquote, perform better than the other, but it's all about the feel of the car and how it works with you. And some people might really love the super fast speed and acceleration of the X80, and they might be able to get around the fact that it doesn't have the best traction or braking. However, some people might like another car like the Zentorno or maybe even like the T20. However, bottom line is the X80 is now the fastest supercar in the game, and it should be. It's got a price tag of $2.7 million, which is pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie. That is very expensive. I actually just ended a shark card giveaway. I, I honestly had no clue this car was coming out. So again, I would have done more if I had known it was actually releasing. I was just doing a shark card giveaway to kind of prep for the release of these cars. I had no idea that they were actually coming out. So yeah, it's been a pretty interesting day. Rockstar really did surprise us. Uh, once again, I'm gonna have a video a little bit later on in the day explaining everything that came out, touching on the update, what's actually happened. Uh, but I also wanted to get this video out for you guys today so that you could know if speed-wise and kind of performance-wise, the Grati X80 Proto was worth it or not. Again, stick around on my channel later today. We're gonna be doing streams. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, it's gonna be a blast. I'll let you guys know on Twitter as well. If you did go on to enjoy this video, however, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.